what you do as a profession? What do you do as of today? So, as of today, I have several hats I wear. Okay. I am uh, a dean of students at a school. Okay. And I also, I do a lot, I'm a, I'm a, uh, a licensed um, motivational speaker and um, life coach. Okay. And so I work with people. I speak at graduations and work seminars, workshop building workshops, work, um, and, and just helping people to to know who they are and be the best at what they're doing. And, and it doesn't mean that I know everything. It's just I'm just reminding people of who they are and what they've been doing and how they can continue to grow and get better as a collective unit and working at, in a team setting or even as an individual. And I'm also an actor. So I've been acting for years. I'm in the Screen Actors Guild and I've been in a plethora of movies and stage plays and television shows from Empire, Chicago PD, Boss, uh, um, what, uh, Chicago Fire and, um, and just, just um, hosting TV shows. And, and um, right now I work for WCIU. Mm -hmm. I'm one of their on-air personalities. And, um, and it's funny because right here in Chicago, actually a mile away from where I grew up, Okay. And um, so, you know, so um, I just feel that that I was put here to make a difference and I'm doing everything I can to walk in that difference. I'm now an author. I've written a book and uh, actually it's my second book. But um, okay. that, uh, but it's just one of the things where I really want to affect change. I really want to help people. And my passion, my purpose is people driven. And I just always ask God to help me you know, to, to understand what I should be doing, how I should be doing it, and how I can help people. Beautiful. Now let's just get off into this book. Mm -hmm. The Eyes of a Man. And the eyes of that man is Simeon mm -hmm. Henderson. This is Simeon's yes. story. This is my story. I mean, this, this is a beautiful written book. And like I say, this is good class material. Mm -hmm. This is good material for young boys, if, if somebody has a group of young men mm -hmm. and these young men are, say, coming to a, what do, you, what do you call that thing, a group meeting where they sit down and motivate? A mentoring a session. A mentoring session. This is an excellent mm -hmm. I had piece a, I of had material. A, I had a young lady call me a few days ago, uh, presented it to the principal at their school, and they're going to get the book, and it's going to be used during their reading time. And then I had uh, another young lady. Her son has a book club. They got the book, and he's already sharing it with the students. And I went through this one school, and they're like, "Mr. Mr. Henderson, we're reading your book." And um, so, so it's my it's my goal and my desire and my dream to have this book in schools all over the world because people need to hear these stories because they've lived it or they know somebody that lived it, and it can help them um, go through it. And know that they can make it, or if they see it, they know how to get around it. And you know, I, I, when I, I think about some of the problems that we are having in Chicago, mm -hmm. a lot of kids that are growing up, mm -hmm. uh, you know how they label us all. I'm labeled a baby boomer, and then they got the next generation, and then mm -hmm. they got the X generation, and now they got the what that lady told me they call Generation them. X. The, uh, oh, they no. got Generation I X. I don't know. Yeah, they, too many. And then they call these the what that. They were, they, that was over there in the health club and they was talking about them. They call them, they got a name for this, this, this group of, that's, that's aging now. They got a name for them that they call them, uh, I can't, give me line. I, don't I, I, don't, I can't think of it. But when the lady said, I say, what? She said, yeah, I'm talking about them doggone teenagers, mm. <laughs> you know, but they got a, the millennials. millennials. That's what oh, they call them. Oh yeah, millennials. Yeah, that's what they call them. Yeah. They got a name for all of them, you know. So this is, a. Uh, this is great material for for them. For the millennials. Yeah. Uh -huh. They need to see what it was really like and what it could be like and that you know, because they think sometimes the kid the kids think they're so privileged. And, and and really you need to learn how to earn things, work for things, and know that no one's supposed to just give you anything. You need to work for what you want. You need to work for what you have. You need to work for what you get and it makes you appreciate it so much more. Okay. Now, what really, I mean, I know you said that you, you, you want to help people, but is that the thing that motivated you to write this book? I mean, people just don't sit down and say, oh, I'm going to sit down here and write a book. Man, it, it wasn't easy. 
But what really motivated me was the fact that I really started being thankful for where I came from. Mm -hmm. I really started being thankful for how my mom raised me. I really started being thankful for my family members that stood there for me. I really started being thankful for people like Papa Joe and his family who took me in and helped me to be a better person. I really started being thankful for the fact that these young people listened to me. I really started being thankful that my kids love me and respect me. I really started being thankful for things. And that's what made me want to get this book done that I've been talking about for the past 15 years. I wanted to get this book done. And this is nothing compared to what's coming. I already have oh, wow. another book. It's actually a workbook that I, that's done. It's called The 30 Day Refocus um, Challenge where you just refocus on who you are, what you should be doing, and walk in your purpose, and it gives you words and affirmations, and then you have to write down. So it's, a, it's an interactive thing. So I'm really just really touching, scratching the surface of what I should be doing and what I will be doing and what's to come. Woo! That's real powerful right there. That's very powerful. And I did, I did hear you say, you are a motivational speaker mm -hmm. and a life coach. Mm -hmm. Now, where did all that come from? It just came from, that came from, from who I am. Who I am and knowing how hard I had to work and that someone encouraged me. Okay. And I said, I want to do that for somebody. I want to do it for the world. I used to cry when I couldn't get kids to turn around or they went the wrong way. Some of my students have gotten killed went to jail, strung out on drugs. I used to cry because I was like, why couldn't I help this person? Why couldn't I get them? Well, you know, you know. And I had to understand that I can't get everybody. You know, society says, and I've been hearing this for years, for years, for years. If he is a black man, by the age of 12 or 14, mm -hmm. If he is not dead, mm -hmm. he's going to be in jail, mm -hmm. or he's going to be strung out of the road. Mm -hmm. And see, I don't care. I don't care what people say. I'm living proof that you don't have to succumb to people's words. I'm living proof that you don't have to let somebody's opinion of you become your reality. I'm living proof that somebody was told what they couldn't be and what they couldn't do, and now I can look them in the face and just say... Hold him up, Jack. That's it. In the eyes of me. That's it. Through the eyes of this man, mm -hmm. I saw who I could be. Through the eyes of this man, I know who God told me I was. I know who my mom and my grandma and my uncles and my coaches and my teachers, the ones that stood in the gap for me, my brothers and sisters, I know. So that meant more to me okay. than the people out in the world that was telling me what I couldn't do. And that's what people have to see. You have, you have to, I always tell people, make know your vitamin. Make what? Make know your vitamin. Okay, okay. Because what do vitamins do? They make you strong. I'm kind of strong. Okay. They make you stronger. Okay. They build up your immune system. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. So, every time somebody tells you no, take it in. Okay. Oh, Absorb it. Yes. Let it yes. build you up. Okay. Because every no you get brings you closer to that yes. And once you get that yes, you know you can't be stopped. You know you're walking in your purpose. And you know who you are. Make know your vitamin. And you'll be successful. No matter how long it takes. You should put that on a t-shirt. <laughs> I like that. Make know your vitamin. Make it your vitamin. Yeah. Okay, listen. You want to tell everybody where they can get this book. And are you going to be doing... Another yes, book, I will. Another, another book signing. I will be doing another book signing. I'm going to be doing a couple. I'm teaming up with Verizon to do one in a couple of their stores. Okay. And um, hopefully, I'll be teaming up with my buddy um, over at Three Sinks, um, Three Sinks on Chicago Avenue, Howard with his um, salon, mm -hmm. his barber shop hooking up with them to do something, and a few other people want to do some things with me and help me out. And I'll also be at. Um, the books and brunch gala at the uh, um, at the um, at the um, what is it um, the uh, athletic club the um, dang 
I know um, well, we, the East Bank, East Bank okay, Club we, with Cinder Williams and Chat Daddy, Art Chat Daddy Sims. Oh, I'll be okay. speaking there and when? have my book what on display March 18th from 2 to 5. Make sure you... 12 to 5. Make sure you uh, um, post, put, post that on Friends Who Like Rhythm Flow Radio. Okay. That's our radio page. I'll post it. I'll send and it to you. you yeah, send it to me. Yeah. And I'm, I'm going to come to that. That would be awesome. Come to give me some pictures. And I just yeah. want to say this before I cut off my thing. Yeah. I want to thank everybody that always um, that listens Everybody that's always encouraged by what I say, everybody that encourages me to continue to be an inspiration with all this madness and the bad things that's going on. And I encourage everybody to be faithful and focused, consistent and committed and be symbolic, simply your best. Because being deeply rooted stimulates growth. And get this book because it's going to help you. It's going to help you. And it, even if it doesn't help you, you can read it and you can help somebody else. All right. Those are the